in an age of stress. Some people take the easy way out. They take pills. It's an incredible fact that in Britain today, we swallow more than a million happiness pills every 24 hours. 20th century blues, or what doctors call emotional illness, affect all sorts of people at some time or another. Some people take the easy way out. They take pills. It's an incredible fact that in Britain today, we swallow more than a million happiness pills every 24 hours. And it's partly due to the conditions in which we live and work, to this kind of thing. No wonder some people get jittery and nervous, excited or depressed. No wonder heads ache and hearts thump and blood pressure goes up. We live tightly jammed among a mass of restrictions, which in themselves can cause irritation. This Sixpenny Sentinel, for instance, and in the closely packed suburbs, is the eternal fight to keep up with the Joneses. Doctors have a name for it. They call it suburban neurosis. Stress is part of the price we pay for progress, as life gets faster and noisier. Some days, you can almost scream. But stress builds up inside, and what really gets people down is one unsolved problem on top of another. Look at this chap. A businessman may complicate his ordinary business worries by fears of the future. He may be too ambitious. He may worry about the chaps who are after his job. All this builds up tension, which can affect people in factories just as much as in offices, and which isn't left behind when he goes home. Many business executives are victims of tension, and here, in a castle, is one of the clinics which has been created to help them. Patients come from all over the country from some of the 2,000 firms which have been invited to send their executives for rest and treatment. Some people take the easy way out. They take pills. It's an incredible fact that in Britain today, we swallow more than a million happiness pills every 24 hours. Inside the castles are all the appliances of modern treatment. For instance, the jet spray. The electric light bath can wind a man down and tone him up. This is the kind of bathing whose end product is health. Wonder what those blokes at the office are doing now. Well, there are worse ways of spending time, and foam bars never did those film beauties any harm. So much for the body, but what of the mind? Some people take the easy way out. They take pills. It's an incredible fact that in Britain today, we swallow more than a million happiness pills every 24 hours. We're spending on tranquilizers around six million pounds a year. These pills are meant to reduce tension without clouding the mind. Some students use them to get through exams, and motorists have been known to take them to settle those driving test nerves. But tranquilizers are open to misuse, and they don't remove the real causes of stress. <laughs> While industry is beginning to look after its workers, nothing much seems to be done in the home, where stress can be just as acute. Stress, say the doctors, often starts in childhood, but it's not always the child on whose mind frustration leaves its impression. To any mother, the daily round of shopping, Taking the children to school and looking after the family can sometimes become a bit overwhelming. Is it any wonder that some women find that they just can't cope? for making what has come to be known throughout the world simply as happiness pills every 24 hours. Millions of words have been written for and against it. For this little white tablet is more explosive than dynamite. Sermons have been preached on it. Men and women have argued over it. It's the most controversial pill ever produced. Today it's been taken by nearly half a million women in Britain alone. Scientifically, it's a dramatic step forward in the control of happiness. Troll and happiness, some people take the easy way out. They take pills. It's an incredible fact that in Britain today, we swallow more than a million happiness pills every 24 hours. We're spending on tranquilizers around six million pounds a year.